before closing time so we're gonna to try to get a run through of Mary Heilman well it's late I was running around the Bridge of Rally show but I knew I should stop in and see this and I'm not gonna get the titles because there's no gallery guides left there's Marilyn Minter going to uh, turn on the camera and start running through this. Uh, I think Mary is one of the most uh, interesting painters out there these days and uh, I guess maybe it's been about uh, eight or nine years that she's finally started to uh, get the kind of attention that she needs. Oh, I love these pieces here with the uh, Marine. Yeah, that is intense. Um, one of the things I like about Mary's work is she's always experimenting with things. Uh, a lot of this is almost like visual riddles. And she's got a great color sense. I'm a lot of fans. nice the way that she's got these uh, these two squares joined together and then you kind of get a, uh, a passage a uh, transition from one to the other with the uh, white rectangle I was also told that I should look at the well oh, there's Knight Landisman oh, it's nice when people uh, dress in such a way that it kind of accentuates the, uh, the color of the art objects they're sitting on. Some more uh, blue and white pieces. Now, there is some pedimetti, so under this white is some other color. Maybe it's blue. I just uh, noticed that this uh, this pair of small, smaller white and blue paintings are almost a uh, miniature reverse version of uh, these two paintings. You know, one of the things that uh, being a painter, I'm intrigued with is that uh, a lot of Mary's work almost has a kind of a performative aspect to it. So she'll figure out compositions, but they have to be painted in such a particular order that the, uh, the colors meld in a certain way, almost like a great chef. Oh, this is a nice piece. And uh, I think this is a slab of ceramic. Mary is a California girl and I think that uh, she may have been a ceramicist before she uh, started painting seriously. Well, there's
is David Reed, and uh, he's, uh, I don't know whether the show is still up, but he recently had a show at, uh, I think it was the uh, Bonhoeff Gallery Museum in uh, Berlin with Mary. You know, this is kind of uh, an interesting set of works. It's almost like the uh, highway paintings of uh, Alan D'Archangelo that was, he was doing in the 1960s. some kind of a uh, glaze or resin on there that looks like a ceramic finish on there. It looks like we're having a tea party back here. Oh, gosh. I'll take this one home. This is a beaut. Someone asked me what my goals would be in the art world, what my view of success would be, and uh, I always like to say <laughs> I would like to have the Mary Heilman experience. This is a lady that came here from California, I guess maybe in the mid 60s, late 60s, and uh, kind of hung out around here and had a certain amount of recognition, but just kept grinding away, and she was teaching and working and. You know, galleries come and go, and eventually, it was Pat Hearn was introduced to her by one of her students, and Pat started showing her, and then things took off. And uh, at one point, I guess it was um, eight or nine years ago, Mary was on the cover of both Art Forum and Art America in the same month, and maybe a month later, she was... Uh, given a one-person show at the new museum. So that would be my, that would be my standard. Congratulations. This is James Calm making a very quick run through Mary Heilman. West 24th Street. And thank you, Kate. Whoa, nice. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks.